しもし今日からちょうど一週間後に戻ってくるからかしこまりましたでは失礼いたしますいらっしゃいませ予約した山村貞子ですこの変な新しいアプリに聞いたことありますかアプリストアからダウンロードしちょうど1週間後に。
done myself a mischief. Oh, oh, I'm so stiff I can hardly move. Oh.
everything heartfelt that you allow me to do or say is symbolic. The kiss you give me tells me that your body wants to conceal no mystery from me. Your film has not been selected. This is your punishment. This is not film, is it art? You can't call this narrative. There is no dialogue. The narrative is confusing and impossible to follow. You alienate the audience. You lose the audience. You keep the audience in the dark. You make the audience uncomfortable. You made the audience your fetish. Your film is projected at the audience and not engaged in communication with them. The darker themes and content are gratuitous and unjustified. It's not believable. We just didn't get it. We are afraid. We just couldn't get it. It's just disturbing. Your film has a German pornographic vibe. We just didn't get it. Everything heartfelt that you allow me to do or say is symbolic. It's I'm not lost. believable. The kiss you give me, just didn't get tells it. me that your body wants to conceal no mystery from me. It's just disturbing. I'm lost. A switch is sometimes submissive and sometimes dominant. The act of submission is ecstatic and exploitative. Slave, master, analysand, analyst. Artist, critic,
United Kingdom's death toll uh, from the coronavirus has risen by one fifth. The ancient Egyptians believed that one day the world would end. When this happened, they thought that everyone who had a body would move on to a wonderful afterlife. But if your body rotted away, you couldn't live in the afterlife. The Egyptian sparrow was their duty to make sure that their pharaohs didn't rot, so they turned them into mummies. you Audrey your golden scales and the twilight in your tail when I found you dead it was a surprise I wept and wept it was red in my eyes I how your light put me to sleep at night I how you let your inner soul shine I how I wish you never died on your journey to the afterlife and into the dark you'll someday meet the gods and they'll weigh your heart on the scale of lies. Oh, how can I already hear the cries? Oh, how can I already see the dim light shining through the sky? You have a quest ahead of you. So now I'm saying goodbye. R.I.P. Audrey. <laughs> The WhatsApp groups are quieter, the Zooms become less often. We're all just waiting desperately for when lockdown is going to soften. The tears are showing more and more in kids and grown-ups too. We're wondering so searchingly as to why we feel so blue. The weather's been shit. Could that be it? Or the fact that we're in week 96? You've stopped running, been boozing, and can't contemplate that smug little prick, Joe Wicks. Don't beat yourself up. Don't try to be strong. Just don't give in to that need. Reach for the wine when you want it. Huh, have ice cream for your tea? 
I've got mates who are back on the weed. It's fine. It's normal to feel so shit and sneak off for a cry in the bog. It's okay to watch movies all fucking day and cry because you love your dog. Do what you need. Get by how you can. Try to keep in mind that soon we'll be hugging our mates, going to work on the tube and drinking Prosecco at noon. On a Saturday, in a pub, with new threads that we bought in a shop, in the sun and with our friends, because all of this madness will stop. And we'll think one day soon, what a crazy time we all went through together. And hopefully, just hopefully, it'll just make us better forever. Treasure the true things. Don't sweat the small stuff. And be kinder to each other. Look at everyone next to you as a friend, a sister, a brother. And promise. Just promise that it might be possible that some good can come of this. It's too good. It's just too big. An opportunity for us to miss. Meet the Witch Hunters. Open up! It's the Witch Hunters from the Council! And if someone reports witchcraft, it's their job to investigate it. One. Right. They are authorised to take action on the spot. Uh, she should be around here somewhere. Obstructing their work can be a criminal offence. Yeah, there's the witch! Every year in England and Wales, more than 100 witches are uncovered by the witch hunters. <laughs> Coming up, Prisha Varma, a single mum of five children from Tooting, South London, suspects her neighbour has been dabbling in the dark arts. I was walking into my house when I could smell sulphur from next door. And I heard strange chanting. There are enough problems in this city without having witches living next door. It's just not right. The council need to do something about it. But when Siddharth and Dorothy pay the house a visit, will they find enough evidence of witchcraft? Across the UK, your local councils work tirelessly to keep your streets clean and safe. In South London, it's a melting pot of cultures and a hot spot for crime. In Wandsworth Borough Council, Siddharth and Dorothy work for the one secret occult management department. Morning. Yeah, we got a call from the council. Apparently there has been a complaint about a woman in her late 30s practicing witchcraft. Obviously we've had to come and investigate. Can't be too careful though. So Dorothy here, my intern on transfer from Kansas, is taking some precautions. Right. A lot of witches and warlocks operate at night, so they're asleep when we come in the day. Agatha Blair, it's the council. You woke me up. Oh, we're from the council. Can we only have a word, please? Can you the f Don't worry about them. They're just here to document what we do. Will I be on telly? I've always wanted to be on telly. Hang on a minute. Most witches are very vain. They like to think of themselves as the most beautiful of them all, so they love to be on TV. Of 
across the UK, witchcraft is reported to be used every five hours. Whilst most occasions are false alarms, the council takes any accusations very seriously. So, Mrs. Blair. Sorry, but there have been complaints of antisocial chanting and spellcraft. There are also allegations that last night you cursed a young gentleman on Brick Road. Well, that's a load of for a start. Please, Mrs. Blair, mind your language to your old camera, after all. Hey! As I was saying, a Kevin Prince alleges that you used witchcraft on him and cursed him. Never heard of him. And the nature of this curse renders him unable to speak. Well, English anyway. I don't know what you're talking about. May I remind you, I am a council sanctioned witch hunter. Lying to me is a very serious offence. I'm not lying. You've got no proof. <laughs> We've got you on CCTV. I don't have to put up with this, going around accusing people of witchcraft. It's just not right. Would you just answer a couple of simple questions? I'm saying nothing. It's in your best interests to cooperate. Get this over quickly. We don't want this to escalate. According to public records, witchcraft ceased to be an act punishable by law with the Witchcraft Act of 1735. But now that we know witches do actually exist, that act has been repealed. As a witch hunter, I am sanctioned to take any necessary steps to protect the public and stop unlawful cursing. Now, come on. This doesn't have to get ugly. Let's all be reasonable. Here, have an apple. Nobody touch the apples. Dorothy, bag up one of these apples as evidence. Mrs Blair, if we find these apples have been tampered with, you'll be in serious trouble. It's just an apple. I bet that's what they said to Snow White too. Well, that was just... Mrs you. Blair, is there something you're not telling us? No, absolutely not. That was just fairy tales. You know as well as I do that fairy tales are almost always grounded in truth. Is this a stitch up? Are you trying to pin something that happened in a fairy tale on me? Anyway, if I had a magic mirror, do you think I'd be living in a hole like this? She was a queen. She had power and wealth. We don't have evidence for that, Mrs Blair, but we do have evidence that you cast a spell on Kevin Prince yesterday. Right, that's it. Get out of my house. Right. And don't come back until you've got a warrant. That's the way you want to do it? Fine. Oh. And we will be back with the police.
What we're going to do now is go back to the occult management department and file a report. Normally we like to keep things in-house, but on this occasion I think we've got enough CCTV evidence to charge. So I'm going to ask the police to arrest her for further interrogation. Come on. After lab analysis, the apple confiscated was found to have traces of a highly dangerous sleeping poison. Agatha Blair was arrested for witchcraft. She pleaded not guilty, but after a trial, was sentenced to burn at the stake. It's disgusting that they're living amongst us. They look just like us. You'd have no clue. I'm just glad I did my bit. And now we're rid of another filthy witch. Tell the Prime Minister I said hello. Stick it in an offshore bank account like the rest of them. For God's sake, man. Just do it, Dad. What are you doing in my office? Right. Got to go. Ta-ta. I said, what are you doing in my office? Oh, do me a favour, here. What's this? Peace in our time. Uh, uh, Neville Chamberlain, Prime Minister, uh, 1938, no? Not getting it. Uh, yes, no, anybody in there? <laughs> oh, Cludus. Look, it's from my father. He's got a note from his daddy. His daddy! What does it say? My poor wee Johnny can't do gym today because he's got F smile. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my office. I want an eight ball of coke, four E's, two grams of piguana, and some shrooms if you've got any. What? Baby buttons? You want some baby button mushrooms, do you? What do you think I am? A grocer? No, no, certainly not. No shrooms, as in magic mushrooms. The magic mushrooms? We got a comedian here. Fucking nothing! Yeah. Oh, what's your language? No swearing in front of kids. What sort of an example is that to say? <laughs> right, look, it's all written down here if you haven't already forgotten. Mm, funny boy. Mm. Government headed paper. Fancy that. Very official. Yes, so an eight ball of coke, four E's, two grams of pig wormer, and some magic mushrooms, please. Yeah, he wants some pig wormer. He's having a party with David Cameron, ain't he? <laughs> no, I ain't serving up to no minor. I've got principles to uphold. Morals. What do you think I am? A drug dealer. <laughs> 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 
Look, I can't go home empty-handed. That'll go spare. And he's had a rotter of a day already. Cabinet meeting, got a bit of a beasting from the PM. Boo-hoo, my heart bleeds. Now get out. <laughs> Are you all right, boss? <laughs> hey, bugger, just keep me in the shin. <laughs> Language, <laughs> Ossie. <laughs> 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 You're too right, pair of nempties, aren't you? Get out! Go on, get out! Look, sweet, I haven't got all day to sort it. That's enough. You don't get out, I'm gonna... What, call the police, really? Daddy's best mates with the home secretary. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, it's fast. Do you need a hand? Does it look like I need a hand? Uh, to be honest, mm. yeah. Shut up and help me get him out. Uh, certainly. Um. Oh my God! Oh, stop it! My dad will do you both. I'll give you one hundred and sixty pounds for the lot. You have a lot. What? Do you want one hundred and seventy? Eighty. My final offer: two hundred pounds. Well, that certainly is a terrific offer, boss. Done. Yep. to the film. You've got to admire the spirit of today's youth, haven't you, boss? Yeah. Enterprising, if anything. Wouldn't be surprised if he ends up running the country someday. Yeah. Nice lad helping his dad out like that. And the government. Yeah. Admirable. Yeah. Boss. I think we've got another customer. Oh, hello there. I've got a note from Mummy. Oh, there you are, Felicity. What are you doing in this phone box? Well, Mummy, you were absolutely guzzling it in the boozer and I just thought... Shut up. <laughs> oh, kids! What happened? Hello. Nice to meet you. Boss, should I tickle her? <laughs> you are so cute! Oh, grocery list. Do come along, Felicity. Yes, Mumsy. And do stop telling strangers I'm your mother. But you are. Oh, don't I know it. Boss, shall I grab them? Shame to lose a customer. Leave it. Oh, shame. What is it, lad? <laughs> Speak to me. What's up? <laughs> I've got a note from Daddy. <laughs> <laughs>